We have a saying within the Devil Driver camp, keep it within the zone. Well, I watched my previous band fall apart on hard drugs, so I know exactly what it's like to, you know, go outside of the circle and get outside of the zone, you know. And the whole sex, drugs, and rock and roll thing, it's really the drugs that fucks up the sex and the rock and roll, man, big time. Everybody has, has had their overindulgences, you know, uh, on tour. I've been on tour for a, a long time, you know and I mean? So, of course, I've tried to keep everything uh, you know, inscribed within the circle, you know, that's, but uh, you come out of pocket once in a while, you know. My thing for starting yoga was to, to get my lifestyle, uh, you know, happening to where longevity is, is, is easy to attain. It's when you get older, you have to figure out what to do with yourself. Out here on the road, it's a, it is a routine. You have a certain time you're usually going to bed, a certain time you're waking up, when you're doing press, when is allotted for just you before the show to have you know, a glass of wine with friends and sit. You know, after the show, what you're gonna do. I, I like the whole regimen of things. I mean, if it gets groundhog-y, groundhog day, then it gets good for me. I like when there's 16, 17, 20 shows in a row, and that way you can just start, start hitting it, start getting in the groove. You know? This tour has, has changed a lot of things for me, actually. I came on this tour and uh, uh, with uh, my stepfather having cancer and my best friend uh, having cancer passed away while I was on the tour. Uh, I missed my 10 year anniversary and my wife's birthday and Halloween. So huh. this, is, this is never gonna happen to me again. I'm gonna have to adjust what is personal and what is sacred to what is work and what is business and since it's art, I juggle that in between as well. We play more shows than any band on the planet per year. And for 16 years, I've kept an extreme work ethic up, you know. So for myself, you know, I just see, you know, after July, taking, you know, a little bit of time off. That doesn't mean we're not going to go do a week or two of shows here or there. But um, you know, I see, I see a few months off at least. We want to have a record out by the end of 2013. I mean, for sure, mid to mid 2013, before Halloween, without a doubt. And uh, we're just starting to find that sound. And I think it's going to be really, really intriguing to me, for sure, what the next four or five records holds. Because I think it's going to get epic now. I think what we're going to do is take what we're doing and we're going to start stepping outside ourselves even more and, and really, you know, taking things to the limit. I got to get to 